Hi kids, Keenan here. This is Nicole. We're Let's Make Art. Nicole's gonna tell us why we're here. We are here together to make another painting based on another artist that we get to learn about. Sweet. And I thought it'd be fun to bring Keenan for us to all color together. So, today we are learning about Vincent Van Gogh, and this is his, inspired by his Starry Night painting. Oh. Have you seen this before? I have. Something similar? Something similar. So, if you flip to, if you have our zine, actually this is his too. There, this is what we were, in, this is this project that we're doing. Oh, okay. On the cover. But if you flip to page thir 12 and 13, nope, flip to page 10, you will see, and we're gonna learn a little bit about him. So he is a famous artist. He's one of the biggest artists that, if you learn about art history, that you will, you've probably seen some of his stuff. His name is Vincent van Gogh. He was born in the Netherlands, so he's a Dutch painter. And he is known for these bold, expressive lines. So what we're gonna be learning today is we're gonna be using those and inspiring, or be inspired by his work and create those same strokes. Now, there's a few examples of his work that you, he did. So you can see, even in these ones, can see the same thing. Yes. It has these small strokes that we're gonna do. And I wanted to add a fun fact about him. So as an artist, he painted throughout his entire life, but most of his paintings were, or the famous ones that we see, were made in the last two years of his life. Isn't that wild? That's wild. Because you would think, I don't know what you would think, but it just, it proved to me that as an artist, at any point in our lives, we can create. And yeah. I think that's such a cool thing. So to start out, Let's tell you what supplies to get and then we'll jump right into the exercise. So we are using oil pastels. These are like kind of like crayons, but a little bit different. <laughs> and the colors, you can use any colors, but the colors that we're going to be using are black, brown, blue, yellow, peach, and white. So those are the colors I would have out if you want to do something similar to us. Then we're, you'll notice that it's on black paper. So grab out some black paper that you have. And we're going to share. Is that cool? The book? Yes. Cool. Sharing, I don't have my own anyway. Sharing is caring. Okay. So to warm up before we go to our final piece, in your notebook, if you have this, or if you don't, you can use it on another piece of paper, is grab any of your colors. Doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna do yellow. Okay. And on your book, you will see that there are boxes for you to fill in. So what I wrote here is Van Gogh paints with dashes that together create movement. Okay. So we're gonna practice those below. So in this box, you're just going to do it. Maybe you can do these ones and I'll do these ones. I have to make up my own dash? You can do it. Perfect. We'll start with this one for you. So Keenan's gonna draw little curves. So what you're gonna do, let's actually, I'll go first. This is my first time using these. Oh, you're right. I've never used, I'm really excited. Okay, so I'll go first and I'll show you. So I'm gonna start with the straight across line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this. I know they're a little bit small, so you can hold it however works with your hands. And you're just gonna, don't be afraid, just draw lines. So I'm not drawing a solid line, I'm just kind of drawing dashes. Okay. You can practice on that one too, actually, if you want to. Yeah. There you go, so we're just drawing lines. Easy. Perfect, and as you go down, there's a few different ones. So we're also going to draw some curved lines. So we drew some dashed lines, that's what we practiced. Yes. We'll also draw some curved lines around the moon. Oh. So to practice that, if you want, you can actually draw a circle. That will help. And then draw lines around it. So it's a similar dash, but they're just going around in a circle. Oh, it's kind of like if you're just continuing to draw a circle without making a whole circle. Yeah, that's okay. exactly. Got it. Perfect. Nice. Okay, and then we'll do one more just for now, and then you can do more after. But we're just going to also draw some lines that are going in different directions. Can I do the swirls? Okay, do it. Go for it. Nice. Do another one. So do you see how loose you are with it? That's great. Yeah. 
And together, as you draw them, as you draw more and draw them closer together, like we're gonna do, that's what's gonna build up to create okay. this. Cool? Cool, got okay. it, I'm ready, I think. You got it. So, <clears throat> if you want, you can pause and you can practice a little bit more, but we're just gonna go for it. Now, I know when you're looking at this, this may, this may look a little hard. Yeah, this looks like an artist drew this. Well, you're an artist, you're an, an artist. artist. I'm an artist today. <laughs> So, I know that you can do this. I'm going to break it down into steps so that we can do it together. Okay, first thing is we are going to draw, draw our outline to kind of get us set up. So, we're going to draw, if you look at your zine, we're going to draw the wind lines and the moon. So, grab your white and first thing is I'm going to, it's easy for me to draw a circle first. So uh, if you want, actually, I don't want to tell you which side to do it. So if you want to do it on the other side, okay. you can, but I'm going to draw it in the right side and I'm going to draw a circle. This is my moon. Draw it any size. Perfect. Okay. Then in the background of this painting, he has these swoops and so you can make them any size. So I would start from the left and you're going to do a swirl. It could be big, it could be small. You can go up, yeah. I went the wrong direction. It is not the wrong direction. Perfect. You went your own direction. Perfect. <laughs> and then let's draw one more just to do another one. So it can go the same direction and go in a different direction. I keep going. That was great. I keep twisting weird. Perfect. Winds Got don't, it. winds go all like this. W yeah. Okay, then let's draw a few. So. In this night sky, there's some stars. And so let's draw a few different little circles anywhere in your night sky. I'm gonna draw three. Hmm. So you can draw a few more to fill up, yeah. Perfect, okay. Then let's also outline the bottom hill so that will help us to know where that is. So grab, I'm gonna grab blue. Okay. And when you're doing this, is that, think about it, it could be anywhere along the line. So you can decide, is your hill up high, right there, or is it higher here? Okay. You I'm, can draw. Okay, perfect. So you can draw a line along Ooh, the bottom. Oh, my paper twisted, but uh, my hill survived. Perfect, okay. That's step one. Now, step two is we're going to really get in the zone, and that makes me think we need to do our motto to really get in the zone. So we're gonna pause for a second. If you could raise your right hand. You can't see my right hand on the screen, but it's there. <laughs> Can you do it this time? Yep. Okay, got it. I got it, I got it. Oh, it's, I did it backwards. Oh, okay. you did. <laughs> <laughs> you said yes. Okay, ready? Repeat after me, please. Mm -hmm. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. I am creative. I am creative. Let's do this. Boom. Good job. So now that you said that, we are ready to really get in the zone and we're going to channel our Van Gogh inside of us. Channel our inner Van Gogh. Yes. So remember what we did earlier. So grab your white and we're going to draw those dashed lines. Let me pull this down so you can see this. So if you're looking at this, we did this step. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to draw those dashed lines. So around your outlines, mm -hmm. you are going to draw those lines that we did. Okay. So you can do what we did earlier is start with your your wind and you're just gonna draw lines. And then you can draw more. So you are making your wind thicker. Don't worry about it being perfect. Because remember, we're, we're an artist. We're just kind of making these lines. Let yourself be loose. So you can decide how thick you want them to be. Good job. Thanks. Sometimes I feel like I don't have very good hand control but it gets better with practice. 
And being loose. And being loose. Hmm. Nice. Let's try some different types of. So you can see how when Keaton did this, there's a little bit of black space. He's going over it, and it's perfect to show you that by adding more layers and continuing on. Was that mine that just fell out? Yes, yep. ma'am. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, sometimes they break. It's oh, okay. That's okay. You can still use them. Okay, so we did that. Now we're going to do the other other ones where you're going to draw your Oh, the circle, the curves. Around the curves, yeah. So we're going to do the same thing. And if you're looking at this, you'll see that it goes out and around. It looks like other colors, too. I'm excited for that. Yeah. Perfect. And then you could do the same around your stars. So you'll notice that we didn't do too much. We just did a little bit. You don't need to fill up the whole space. Draw some lines. Fun. The stars got huge. <laughs> Coming to life. Now we are going to repeat this step that we just did, but with yellow. That same step? Yep. So dashes and lines and, mm -hmm. and curves? Yep. And you can go over your white. Draw more dashes. Yes. Look at these coming together. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got a little yellow and a little white. A little mixture. Nice. And the stars? Yep. And the moon? Mm-hmm. If you want. So we're just drawing these curved lines. Okay, okay. So it's kind of filling it in. We're just adding another layer. And then you'll see that if you want to start to add, if you want more yellow around it, mm -hmm. if that makes you Look happy. Look how much yellow you have. You can do that too, yeah. So I added a little bit more outside. Look at those loose lines. Look at those loose lines. <laughs> yeah. And then maybe you, if you just want a yellow star, you can do that. Oh, that's a good idea. So again, we're just drawing these curves. Boom. OK. Good job. Next step, blue. We are going to color in the rest of our night sky. So in the black areas, mm -hmm. you're going to draw the, the dashes. The dashes. Now, if you want, you could have fun. Maybe you want to make some, do you want another swirl in any of your spots? Do you want to make more curves? You, this is your chance to play. But, Sweet. So you're basically filling in the black spots with the blue in whatever direction you want to draw your dashes. But keep going with the dashes. Ooh. This blue looks so, is that what that noise was for? Yeah, I like the blue. The other thing I noticed was I was doing like the same, dis, the same length lines in a row, so it didn't look as random. Mm. And I didn't, that's not my favorite. I like the random. So how'd you fix that? I just started to put dashes in different spots and move around. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it. That's a great thing. It just came to me in a dream. <laughs> so yes, you they don't need to be perfect straight lines, and that's why it's good to, I think of it as I'm channeling him, and I'm just painting, becoming yeah. a painter. It allows yourself to see what happens. You don't know what kind of line you're making. I did some around my stars and wind. 
So if you want, I think I'm going to have some of my, if you look at this, around my moon, I made some of that same curved line, so I might do that as well. Ooh, and even when I blended some of the blue and the yellow, just... Turn green. Yeah. Color theory. So you can start to blend more together. So again, I'm just drawing lines. And you can press pretty hard, but you can also press really light if you want. I realize, yeah, yours are sketchy lines. I like them. Thanks. Yours are darker. I think because I push harder. <laughs> I'm not pushing that hard. Every time I push hard, I make a longer line. Is that bad? I don't know. It's just different. What if you, add, yeah, you can add more texture by that where you make them random like that. Yes. Nice. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep my normal, my normal non-Nicole pressure, which is light. I do a light pressure. Yeah, I do push harder. Okay, I'll mix in some of Keenan's light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yours are wispy. Wispy. And fun and free and loose. They know how to have snacks. <laughs> Take breaks. What's that code? It's code. I need a snack. <laughs> that looks so good. Thanks. Yours looks great. Thanks. Boom. Love it. Okay. Now, step five is we are going to draw this our hill and color it in this looks red but it's brown mm -hmm. it's kind of a reddish brown like a clay red brown oh i love that i love that color okay so grab that so we're going to do a mix of your brown blue and black okay so you'll notice that if you look at this one it's not it's not as perfect, so you can't tell kind of where the blue and the black and the brown go. So this is your chance to kind of color it in however it feels mm. right to you. So if you want to make it all brown, go for it. If you want to mix in some black and some blue, go for it. I like variety. So I want you to have fun, but fill in the whole spot. We'll do this black part after, so just fill in this entire space. Okay. So when you're doing this, also, another thing I can teach you is that you can either decide to make your lines follow the curve of your hill that you drew, or what you can also play with is when, if your hill is grassy, you can either draw your lines up, or if your hill has kind of a little bit more of the rolling hills amongst, uh, along with it, what if you add some curves like that inside of it. So you can draw your curves and create more movement and texture, because that's what we're doing. We're creating movement on our page. So add some brown. I feel like adding some blue in. Draw those same curves. Maybe some of them are really big curves. Maybe some of them are small. Add some black. Hmm. Oh, I think I Boom. need my different. Look at your lines. Oh, yes. Yeah. So you can color it in. Go a, little, go a little circle there. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, fun. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, having the black does, is that what you were saying, has some defining parts to it? Yeah. 
Well, and it's harder to see the blue because the black is so strong. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like your hill. I like your hill. Thanks. You can keep adding to it. That's the fun part about this is you can just keep adding more layers on top of it. I'm going to roll with it. Boom. Okay. Step six. We are going to use our black to draw our tree. So if we're looking at this, you'll see that... That's the, a tree? It's, it's like a tree shadow. Oh. Or it's a building. I thought it was like a mountain. It could be anything that we want. It made me think of like a uh, like a an ant hill, like a giant it ant hill that grows. <laughs> yes, that they it, build. It does that they build. Yes, termites. Termites. <laughs> termites are the awesome. Termite hill. <laughs> so you're just gonna draw. It can you can use your imagination, and maybe it is, maybe it is a building, maybe it's a hill, maybe it's a person. You could, I or mean, a it's dog. Van Gogh inspired. You could do a square. Yes. This is yours. So that's, I'm glad you said that because when we are inspired by something, it means that we're channeling him, but you are the artist inside. So if your imagination sees a square, if your imagination sees an ant, a termite hill with yeah. a little ant on top, termites, draw it. So this is your chance to do that. But what I want to teach you is that what we're drawing is in front of of it. Okay. So that's why when we're looking at this, this is in front and then the hill is behind. So the cool thing about oil pastels is that we can draw over everything and you won't see it. Or you'll see parts of it. Do you see how it's kind of popping yeah. through? But it still feels like it's in front of it. So grab out your black and draw the, I would draw the outline first of whatever you see. So if you okay. see a square, draw that. Don't be afraid to draw on top of it. So I'm going to just draw on top of my night sky. So I kind of drew an A. But again, if you see something else, draw that. And then draw, if you have a second one, draw that. Nice. I'm going to change that. You can. Do it. Now, we are going to use the same technique that we were using and just draw on top of it and color it in with your little dashes. And on this one, since you're drawing, if, if this motion isn't as easy for you and you're used to going this way, how about you flip your page, if that's easier? Flip the script. Is that okay? Yep. Okay. If you're used to that. But I'm burn it. I like this. But actually, yeah, now that I do this, this might feel... This might be easier than the other ways. <laughs> so we're just coloring on top. Now, if you, you also could draw a solid color, but as we're thinking about Vincent Van Gogh, he made these bold strokes that created so much movement. I think that's the cool thing about it, yes. is it feels, it's not just a solid color, it adds movement, it has feeling to it. Nice. <laughs> okay. Now, the last step is we're going to simply color in our moon. Sweet. So color your, grab your white. And so when you're doing this now, this is another way that we can, you can use these, is that if you have it flat on the table and just scribble on top of it, it'll make a, and draw circles. Yep. Keep going. Fill it out. Draw circles. Yes. Look at that. And we have a solid moon. And then maybe if you want to do more, I think I'm going to draw some light lines, but I just feel like having more. So it really shines bright. Lovely. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> Boom. Ooh, I like that. I, you did the same thing. Yeah, but yours has like that blue tint that I really want to get. Add some blue then. I think there's a, somewhere. So what I did was I did it hard and then I just drew circular motions but went a little bit lighter and I kept going out. Yeah. Go, that looks cool. <laughs> yes. 
And so if you want, when you take a step back and you're like, oh, maybe I want to add some white here. Maybe I want to add, Ooh. I don't know, a, a flower. You can add anything to this. And then the fun thing, that like, the more you add to it, the more you kind of bring it to life. Yeah. Oh, I was out of the frame a little, but that's okay. Look at that. But guess what? What? We're done. I mean, it looks great. <laughs> We did that all together. How was that hard? No. Right? Because we started with the simple steps, one step at a time. You can do this. So you got it. This was so much fun. This was one of my my. He's an artist that I've always enjoyed, and I'm so excited that you get to know about him as well. We we want to see your Starry Night inspired painting. We have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids. Ask an adult or your grown up to take a picture. Be proud. Say that you made something inspired by one of the famous artists, and share it with us. Good job. Thanks. Kay. Good work. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.